For nearly a century, people with fishing poles and bikes, kayaks, canoes, and cameras, like photographer Keith Freeburn, have captured the soaring beauty. Some of my best experiences have been here at Lake Akatink. And savored the serenity of Lake Akatink in Springfield, Virginia. Not too many people might know about this place, but the people that live around here definitely depend on this place. But this place of reflection and recreation faces a crisis lurking just below its surface. So here's your culprit, folks. Hundreds of thousands of cubic yards of sediment, rock, sand, sticks, and sludge flow into the lake without intervention via a massive years-long dredging project. The sediment will eventually consume and kill the lake. So in 2018, the community was asked, do you want to save Lake Akatink and preserve it as a lake? And the answer was a very resounding yes. You may be wondering why so much sediment goes into Lake Akatink. Well, this large subdivision, built back when stormwater management wasn't prioritized, sits right above the lake. County leaders say when it rains, runoff pours unabated right into Lake Akatink. The other offender, the lake's main tributary, Akatink Creek. Decades of erosion has forced so much debris into the lake, its average depth is now only four feet. Despite millions of dollars invested in stream restoration projects, the sediment just keeps coming, thanks in part to more extreme storms. The good news, after years of debate, two proposals have percolated to the top, but each plan has critics. It's just not safe. That's the bottom line, it's just not safe. In the first proposal, crews would load dredged up sediment onto trucks in a nearby industrial park, then drive right through Gail Niddle's neighborhood, an estimated 190 times a day, five days a week, for three years. I just don't know how the neighborhood can maintain uh, a quality of life, a safe quality of life, with this being introduced. It, to me, is um, unconscionable. The other plan involves running a pipeline for Lake Akatink north to Wakefield Park, where sediment would be trucked right onto Braddock Road, then I-495. But in that case, several acres of trees would have to go, leading to environmental concerns. If we want to save this lake, which I think the community does, uh, there are going to be some impacts. And we have to go into that with our eyes wide open.